I'm gonna pick out $50 worth of tackle. Only use stuff I buy at Walmart. Oh God, I just knocked them all down. The handle just fell off. Oh, we got a big one. I just watched that fish go pick that up. What is up, MFers, and welcome to the local Walmarts. Today we're gonna take a break from the hardcore bass fishing on the boat and stuff and do something I haven't done way too long. The pandemic the last few years has gotten millions of people into fishing and I get messages from people that are just starting all the time. Well, today we're gonna do the most simple thing. We're gonna go out to the local Walmart. I'm gonna pick out $50 worth of tackle. We're gonna only use stuff I buy at Walmart. And I chose $50 because I don't wanna just go out and spend 10 bucks and get the biggest piece of crap, everything. And I wanna show you guys something that's sustainable that you can actually go out, use that rod and reel and baits and everything and go catch some fish. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna to go to the local little spillway canal creek type system where there's giant fish. You guys know this place from past videos, but I'm gonna get everything I need for fishing day for under 50 bucks. Rod, reel, hooks, bait, line, everything. Hopefully, hopefully we can make that work. I'm gonna show you guys some simple rigging methods that will catch fish all over the country, truthfully all over the world. Should be a fun one. What a selection back here. Okay, first things first, we need to pick out a rod and reel combination. This is gonna be the majority of our purchase. And since we're gonna be going after some pretty big fish today, it's gonna be very important to pick the proper combo. Looks like we got everything from 10, $15, $20, all the way up to well out of our price point, obviously. So, man, they got some really shitty rod and reels here, but we're gonna find one I think that's gonna be able to be usable. The biggest thing I've found when you're searching for a really cheap rod and reel is to make sure you get one um, that has a quality drag system and is not just a super whippy, limber little rod and reel. That way it's gonna be usable for a lot of different techniques and species. I mean, look at all these different freaking combos they got these days. Definitely gonna probably wanna stay under $40 or so since we are gonna have to get hooks, weights, and potentially line too. So that's what we're looking at. These are definitely out of our price range up here. But at the same time, I don't want a super cheap little $10 spinning combo. Maybe we'll do that in the future. If you guys wanna see a video like that, let us know down below. But definitely think we're gonna want a uh, spinning rod and reel. This is actually not a terrible spinning feeling combo right here. That's what I'm saying. This is like ultra light too whippy rod and reel. It would be fun, but we need a little bit more meat here. Just a little. One step up we have from the $10 with the 1848 comes in. Some that are two piece, some that are one piece. Let's feel with the one piece. Oh God, I just knocked them all down. Here's the one piece version. Again, the rod is too short, too whippy. That ain't gonna work either. Here's one that I know will actually be legit. My man Ike has the Ike dude combo. Unfortunately, we're doing the $50 challenge, so that's gonna be out of our price range by like 10 bucks. It's too bad because that's actually a solid rod and reel. So we're gonna find one a hair cheaper. Okay, so I, I saw this when I walked in, the Ike Dude combo. I saw the 4088, I was thrown off by that. But look, it's actually only 40 bucks for the spinning combo. That's the bait casting combo, even though it's marked kind of silly. Look up there, 40 bone. Let's see how this guy feels. Oh man, that feels perfect. It's just, that's like the perfect action and power that we want. And the handle just fell off because it wasn't screwed in at all. Oh yeah, we got the, the handle on now. Much better. Yes, I do have two different socks on. So even though the handle came off when I was uh, touching it to the ground, it feels perfect as far as length, action, and power for the big fish we're going after. It looks like it comes with eight pound line which is a little sketchy for the big fish we're, we're targeting, but it is still doable, but it's 40 bucks. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the proper hooks, bait, weights we're gonna need for today and have a $40 rod and reel combo. We're definitely gonna have to go cheap on those components, which, hey, look at that. They got six cents hooks here. The perfect ones we're gonna go after and they're only $2.78. We might be able to do this, guys. From my experience of where we are heading, this is the best hook for using the bait we're gonna be using, which we'll get to in just a second. $2.78, we're gonna need some weights too. And look at this, split shots, 94 cents. This is really coming together, guys. So that's 94 cents plus 2.78, so what is that, $3.72? Beauty. Everybody knows you can go catch a bunch of fish using night crawlers and other types of worms, bugs, stuff like that, minnows, but 
a lot of people don't know you can actually use bread to catch fish and that's what we're going to be using today to catch hopefully some giant carp and catfish i know it's weird trust me it works if you haven't seen previous videos you're about to be in first front basically we're going to go for whatever looks the cheapest looks like we got some wonder bread for 248 that's probably not going to fit our budget very well look at this of course walmart has their shittiest i shouldn't say that it's, i'm sure it's fine bread but it, sandwich bread 93 cents and this stuff will generally the cheaper the more starchy and better it holds in the hook a lot of times so 93 cents we're only at like 43 44 dollars we're gonna go get one more bait that we're gonna catch fish on today hopefully and head to the canal another aisle you probably didn't expect to find fishing bait in but look what we got here corn we don't need anything crazy the cheaper the better and it looks like the cheapest once again, of course, the Walmart brand, 54 cents. Here's one hot tip though. I used to just as a kid, I would get corn or I would make mom buy me like some 50 cent corn in a can to go out and do some fishing. And I'd get out to wherever I was fishing and the top would look like this and I would have nothing. So I'd be banging it, drop kicking it off rocks and stuff. Pro tip, get the opener on top or buy a freaking can opener like a human being. But I don't know, just a pro tip. We're getting this one though. Welcome to the canal. There's bigs in there. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, then you're about to see some crazy fish that live in this little urban canal right here. For those of you guys that have been around for a while, uh, I guess you're gonna see if I can catch those giant fish on eight pound test line and a $40 rod and reel combo. I just hope they put some decent line on this combo, because like I said, we're gonna put it to the test with some drag tuber today. This is actually a two piece rod. That's the section right there. So it breaks down to about two and a half, three feet, which is nice for you guys that like to travel a lot. One thing I didn't show you in the store, I think I forgot to, was I pulled on the drag. Definitely much less nice than uh, my expensive Shimano reels. But hopefully it doesn't lock up when one takes off. Maybe, we'll see. And then we're gonna take one of our six cents drop shot hooks which I'll link down below if you guys wanna check them out. These are an awesome bait hook like this, actually. They're made for drop shotting for bass fishing, so you guys can use them for that. And then if you're using them for bread or corn like I'm going to today, or really a lot of people obviously fish live bait, minnows, stuff like that. Works extremely well for a minnow hook as well in this size number one. As I tie this on, I'm realizing I don't have pliers, I don't have scissors, I don't have a bucket, I don't have a net. We definitely went the cheapo route, but it's gonna work. And we're gonna go ahead and try to get away with the lightest split shot possible. Because when you're fishing a current situation like this, you want that bait to move as naturally as possible. Of course, we're not using live bait, we're using bread to start off with. No matter what species, everything they've ever eaten has been flushed down by the current. So you don't want your bait looking extremely unnatural, just being pinned in one spot. So whenever I can get away with it, go as light as possible. We're going two split shots, simple hook, and let's start with the old great value bread. Quite simply, just going to take a piece of bread. We're not gonna use the crust. That doesn't generally work. It's not doughy and gummy enough. Chunk of bread, we're gonna dough it up into a little ball, about like so. We're gonna put it over the hook, kind of slide the hook through there. And then we're really gonna dough it up around that hook so you end up with a nice ball that actually stays on this little six cents hook really, really well. And we're ready to fish. We're gonna fire it out there. We're gonna wait for a second. We might need to just kinda... Oh God, did I already have a fish? I think one just picked it up already. I think I had a fish. I don't know if I snagged one or one actually grabbed it, but I think I already had one. Oh my God, the sun just came out. I can see with my glasses, the fish sitting down there. I think this is gonna be a good day, guys. Go ahead and get my wallet and keys, phone, out of my pocket because I think we're about to be going down there to land a fish, I hope. There we go. I got a bite, I got a bite. And it just ripped it right out of his mouth. Took my bait. That generally doesn't happen very much, so we're not gonna use quite as much bait this next time. Oh, 
Oh, we got a big one. I just watched that fish go pick that up. Oh, that's the biggest one we've hooked down there. Oh, no, it came off. Oh, God. I thought it broke my line at first, but it didn't. That thing was huge. That was a carp there. There's carp and catfish in this area. He just picked it up. I think I might have set the hook a little bit too soon. I felt the tap. That's one thing with this bread. It's kind of funny, but it seems like you just need to let them take it until they take off. But I kind of set it a little bit early. Whew. Okay, there's some bigs down there today, guys. I was looking at them, but that was one of the biggest common carp I've hooked here, for sure. Well, right at first we got bit on the, the bread, but it's been a little bit since, so let's try some corn. Easiest way to put corn kernels on the hook. You know, this is simple for the guys that have been around for a while, but there's something to it. I mean, people ask me all the time what chicken titties is. I'm shaking my head right now. So I have to go either from the top, dead center in the middle, or like through the bottom of the kernel. I don't know if there is a top and bottom of a corn kernel, but guys, trust me, I put a lot of kernels on hooks. I know there's different higher tech rigging methods that the Europeans use for carp with like a little barb guy and everything, but bear with me. You carp experts out there, this is a great way to keep them on the hook. And I'll put as many as it takes to cover the entire hook just so they can't see it very well. That's simple. I don't know. Let's see if they want the corn today. Yep. We got a big one on the corn. We just put it on. Oh, hold strong, little drag. Holy shit, that's a big one. These big ones are stacked up here today. Oh, man. Eight pound test. We're about to see what you're made of. Oh man, that's a big one. You guys probably can't see this, but there's a little lip right there. And I like can't get this fish over this lip. It's too strong. Look at that fish pole. My God. Hell yes. I don't know, dude. They just, guys, I've been using the bread like crazy. I, I don't know. They, they just, they usually prefer it. I don't think I've even thrown corn here before. Hold strong little line. Well, the drag's working good enough. Just good enough. Oh my goodness. This fish is gonna freaking spook every other fish in the area. I'm gonna have to chase this guy down. I didn't want to go up there because those fish are all sitting right there. I didn't want to go up there because they're spooking pretty easy. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, that's a big. Hey, look at this. There's a chipping wedge right here in the water. The shit you find in urban runoff canals look at that guy now the challenging part getting him with eight pound line over to the bank so i can grab him just got to keep getting closer and closer should have definitely brought a net i say that every time i come here guys and i'm still not smart enough to get a net come on bud come on bud he knows what he's doing too he's getting right in this damn current to where i can't get to him yes we did it oh <laughs> Gross, ugly, nasty carp. But we did it on our $40 rod and reel. Deal! I gotta go up and get a picture of this. We'll send it to Ike, see what he thinks. In a day and age where inflation is just freaking killing all of us, how about this? 50 bones, half an hour later, a little bit of corn, big old nasty slaunch sore carp. Badass. Like I said, I didn't bring pliers because I'm not smart, but luckily carps have really soft mouths, so. Got the hook right out. Not the most desirable species for many people, but so fun on a light tackle, especially. Okay, Mr. Carp, let's go back to your home. Probably uh, eight pound or so carp. Yeah. Swim away. There he goes. 
You bet. Oh, look at this chipping wedge, by the way. I don't want to get my shoes wet because then it becomes real difficult to come down here and land fish. Let's see if I can grab this. Look at this. A little chipping wedge. I'm the world's worst golfer after a lifetime of baseball swinging, but I don't know. Might take it to Becky. <laughs> Clean up the canal anyway, right? That's what the corniest picture to send to Ike ever. We'll see what he says. Oh God. Oh my God, this fish just came up and ate it and didn't even move. I saw him move over there. He moved over like six inches. He must've just grabbed the bait, sucked it in and didn't even go anywhere. I was sitting there staring at him. Another carpy guy. This line is crazy strong. This guy's got a humpback. That's one of those humpback carps. Once again, gonna struggle to get this guy up to the bank. Look at this guy. Woo. So Ike did in fact respond, but his response included uh, an F yeah. So we're not gonna put that on, on screen, but we did get the Ike stamp of approval. The Ike approved Ike dude combo. Literally Ike approved, personally. This guy's weird. He's like, he, you can tell he's, he's pretty, pretty thick, pretty heavy, but he's got a weird humpback. Weird little humpback guy. Don't break me off. I'm still on my first six cents hook and I will definitely be using those for my future river trips slash drop shotting. There he is. Carp number two. With his little leathery mouth. Seriously, these hooks, get them. This guy I think was on corn. Yeah, he was. We've been switching back and forth. It's been kind of slow today. Look at this, how this guy's built. Thick boy up there, thin by the tail. Now he's going back to his home. Well, we got to put a little nail in the coffin. It's just time to head home. Becky and I's anniversaries this weekend. We're going out to Waco, actually. So excited for that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more budget fishing videos, do me a favor, share this video. If I see a bunch of shares, I know that you guys want to see that. All in all, what we learned is you don't need to go spend a bunch of money to go catch fish. You guys see me out in my overpriced bass boat. I got too much tackle, too many rods and reels, but when it comes down to it, you can keep things simple. I know people are overwhelmed when they watch my videos. They think you got to go spend all this money at times to go catch fish. Not true at all. $50 today. Caught two really nice fish, lost a couple others, and uh, I don't know, I had a really good time. Oh, and I got a chipping wedge for Becky. Seems like the anniversary gift she probably has been waiting for her entire life from the man of her dreams.